Hi friend, today we are going to discuss about what are different ways to protect our ASP.NET Web API. So, for securing ASP.NET Web API, actually this is very crucial to protect our sensitive data and ensure that only authorized user can access our API. Uh, so, I am going to discuss about few ways how we can secure our Web API. First one is using HTTPS. As you are seeing, we can use HTTPS, SSL, LTS. So in this, what we need to do, we need, we have options like uh, we always use this uh, HTTPS to encrypt data transmitted between the client and the server. So if we are using this HTTPS, the data which is transmitting from a client to server and from server to client, this is in encrypted form. This help protect against man in the middle attack so if somebody is in middle like between a client and a server who want to access get access to those data so he can't understand because everything is encrypted in between client and the server until and unless he know how to decrypt that data uh, he can't able to use those data if he is able to get it instead that okay so it it ensure the confidentiality and integrity of our data so for this what we need to do uh, one simple way is by adding this uh, https redirection okay in our startup class so in this way we can uh, configure our https we can select https while creating our application second thing we can go with uh, authorization okay for making securing our application so there are number of ways like uh, uh, we can use JWT JSON web token uh, which is very much popular and stateless authentication mechanism that allow you to encode user information in a token so what happens it will create a token in which all the user information is embedded into that it so it will move from client to server and server to client this token for authentication apart from that if we if we have mechanism like uh, if we want to you know uh, make communication with uh, third party okay application in that way we can use auth 2.0 apart from that a simple way is like api key we can use api key for our authentication so all these things like jwt auth uh, auth uh, oh, auth 2.0 or we can use like api key uh, for authentication apart from that if we have uh, we can we need to use authorization also because you know uh, there there are some ways like uh, uh, in my application certain resources are only dedicated to admin certain authentication are only given for hr or there are some so if there is some role type uh, resources so at that time we can go with authorization for this we can use authorize keyword okay attribute called authorize and uh, in that we can write the role okay so like if certain if any uh, you know like let me let me paste over here like this okay so we can write like this uh, okay authorize a role admin on the controller or a method so that particular controller or a method can be accessed only if logged in user is admin okay so this is one way second uh, second way is uh, this is authorization so we i have already told you that uh, for authentication we can use we can use token based authentication uh, if we are using this jwt authentication we need to use system dot identity model dot token dot jwt okay so this we can use and uh, to secure our application apart from that we can use uh, uh, auth open id connection uh, for using this open id con connection we need to integrate with open id connect for identity and user authentication we can also like uh, secure our data by avoiding uh, use storing sensitive information into the url and use the request body or header for sensitive data transmission so instead of uh, uh, putting all the uh, sensitive data into uh, this uh, what we can say this url we can use request header or request body and put all our data over there so for uh, making our uh, transmitting sensitive data okay another thing we can go with like uh, logging and monitoring uh, because this is very important 
logging one is very important because you know like implementing logging to track uh, authentication and authorization events like like who who, who is uh, uh, logging who is uh, using these resources so this we can easily monitor with the help of logging so set up monitoring to detect a response like uh, to suspicious activities apart from that we can also go up with uh, cross origin resource sharing i have already created a video uh, uh, i think just before this video we i have created a video in which i have explained this cross origin resource sharing in which we limit who can access my application by providing allow uh, origin this one so here i have put uh, this uh, allow origin https example.com that means only request from this endpoint can be entertained by this api otherwise it will not going to entertain any other uh, request apart from that we can uh, go with rate limiting actually rate limiting is you know like implementing rate limiting uh, to protect our api from abuse and denial of services attack this type of attack we can go with rate limiting uh, we can also go with uh, like uh, security headers i have just described uh, so use security headers like content security policy csp and x content type options to enhance the security of our api so always keep your dependencies and you know like uh, framework up to date to ensure that your benefit from the latest security patches one thing second regularly perform security audits and consider your consulting security professional to identify okay and address potential vulnerability in your hp.net web, web api so these are few uh, ways to protect our hp.net core api from unauthorized access 